What is going on, guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the Epic Companion Gear uh, drop rate. I thought maybe I just had some horrible RNG because I do have some horrible RNG when it comes to this game. But I've been talking to some other players uh, here on PlayStation in my guild, some other players on PlayStation just in general. I've been reading in the forums that a lot of people are having problems and struggling trying to get Epic Companion Gear. Now, since the Blackwood release, I've gotten one piece of Epic Gear that had a horrible trait on it that was not usable. Uh, for any of my builds, and of course, I'm just using Miri as a healer, Bastion as a tank, and that's kind of what I've gone with. I know some people are using DPS uh, companions as well, but when it comes to traits, there's only a handful that we really want. And only being able to get one piece since the Blackwood release is kind of frustrating. And I know some people may have better luck, better RNG than I do, and they may have their companion already decked out, but there's only other, only one other option really when it comes to getting companion gear, and that's going to a guild trader and buying it. Now, blue and green companion gear on PlayStation, at least, has dropped drastically in price, even for good traits. Uh, the, really, the things that are expensive still, of course, are going to be the epic pieces. When it comes to rings and necks, they're still very high if they're in the right trait. And my plan back to begin with was I was going to sell blue and green gear, and if I didn't start getting a lot of epic, I was going to have to start purchasing it. Well, that plan's kind of uh, done now, considering the blue and green sometimes are hard to even get rid of, even if it's in the right trait, because most people have gotten so many pieces of blue and green along the way. So I'm kind of curious, do you guys think the Epic Companion uh, gear drop rate needs to be bumped up? I, I think it just needs to be a, you know, a couple percent higher chance to get some of this gear. I don't think it needs to be handing it out like crazy. I understand that this, of course, is kind of the focus of Blackwood. I mean, not the sole focus, but that is one of the big parts of Blackwood. You know, some years past, we've gotten jewelry crafting, of course, you know, new classes, that kind of thing. But Companions was kind of the focus this year. And I think that a lot of people, if they're just kind of grinding out, trying to get that gear, have probably gotten frustrated if they have, you know, bad luck in getting, you know, purple or epic drop. And I think it needs to be adjusted, like I said, just a little bit. I know Zoss doesn't want people to go out and be able to deck out a companion in the perfect traits and epic gear within like a week or so. But at the same time, you want to people, uh, you kind of want to give players something to hope for, I guess, at least a chance to get something good. Um, like I said, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've gotten any epic companion gear. Let me know how many pieces you have. Like I said, maybe I'm just having bad luck and the people I've talked to are having bad luck. But overall, I feel like you should be able to deck a companion out fairly easily if you want to grind it out. And I think that's kind of the concept with the game in general. If you want to grind something out, you should be able to get it. And of course, you all know my thoughts on that, considering there's a lot of things in games. Some people can't get burning spell weed staffs, Medusa staffs. Uh, Maelstrom staffs, that kind of thing. Some of the things that's taken me years to be able to get uh, and some that I still do not even have yet. But overall, I think the companion gear should be a bit easier to get than I would say a Maelstrom staff or a Medusa staff or a Burning Spellweed staff. Just considering most of the time you're not using a companion in like really difficult content when it comes to vet dungeons or, or trials or things like that. Most people are going to be playing with a group. But overall, I'm hoping that they will increase this drop rate maybe just a little bit. That way all of us can get what we need without having to go out and spend a fortune on those epic pieces that are actually in the right traits. Um, and maybe in the future, they're going to adjust this a little bit. I'm sure they're going to add more companions in. They've already talked about this, you know, adding more companions in, in in the future to the game as well. So hopefully that companion gear drop rate will kind of increase. And all of us, like I said, can get exactly what we want, you know, by putting in the time and, and kind of grinding it out and not having to just, you know, not get anything we want whatsoever. Anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.